Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about if you can get into Rainbow Six Siege in 2019. Now Siege has changed drastically since its release. I mean, its release it had, what, 20 operators? Now I think it has almost 50, and by the time 2019 hits, I, it would be really close to 50, if not it's 50 already, right? So Siege, it's a complicated game, can you still get into it? The answer is yes, you can. Um, very simply put, um, there's a new method you have to use to actually understand it, but I think you can actually get into it. There's, you know, there's all these different gadgets, right? You have the Zofia grenade launcher, the Hibana launcher, the Jackal, the Dokebi phone call, the Lion call, the Finca. Like, there's all these, like, random gadgets you have inside the game. However, there's different sections of gadgets. There's different categories. There's things called hard breachers. There's things called soft breachers, anchors, and it's pretty easy to learn them, actually. Um, all you need to do is, let's talk about hard breaching. There's three hard breachers. There's Maverick, there's Hibana, and there's Thermite. All you have to remember is that those three symbols mean a hard breacher. Right? There's people that take out electronics. The main two are Thatcher and Twitch. Of course, there's operators with frag grenades that can do that too. But Thatcher and Twitch are the main ones. And all you got to remember is that Thatcher and Twitch take out electronics. And it, it's very easy to learn the operators. Even though there's like 40 or 50 of them. If you play a game of, let's say, ranked. Most of the time, once you get into, uh, I would say, silver... People have favorite operators. I know I have main operators. Uh, Hibana, Jackal, and Thatcher are my main operators. So when I play a game, and let's say I pick Hibana, I usually play Hibana every attack. So you under you you know understand Hibana. So even though you know there's 40, let's say let's just say that for ease of access, there's 50 operators. If you play a ranked game, literally the whole ranked game. That's nine matches just on the enemy team alone. You get to see 45 operators. You might get to see all these operators once. You might get to see some of these operators nine times and you'll really begin to understand them. So you can get into Siege very easily. The gameplay of Siege in terms of how the maps operate has not changed a bit. It's changed a little bit um, with like hatches, right? There's these ceiling hatches in the game. That's the only thing that's changed. There's cameras, yeah, and you'll learn a camera has a red dot on it. Like, even though there's like a bunch, and, a, and sometimes a blue dot, but even though there's all these different cameras, they all have, you know, dots, and you'll see the dots. So it's really easy to get into it in terms of map knowledge. There's, um, sometimes it's not very clear, but most of the time it's clear if there's a wall you can break, or a wall that you can't break. Usually a wall you can break doesn't have decorations on it, or in front of it and a wall that you can break usually looks the same as the other other walls that you can break and is usually made out of wood so and even then like I know I'm saying all this stuff I'm going off topic but there's ideas coming to my head even then the concept behind the maps is super simple I mean you only have 10 reinforcements which are the metal walls so it's really easy Every obje objective, objective, every objective usually has in between, I would say, four to ten places that you use the metal walls. So it's not like, okay, they add more operators, there's more metal walls you can put down. Right? So, is Siege, it's harder to get into, yes, but it's actually really easy to get into too, because the community is a lot less toxic now. And let me tell you, if you go into game chat, and let's just say you pick Rook, right? And then you pick Rook and you're making callouts. Someone, even though you can be the bottom, you can be dropping a donut and die every round, you might find someone and be like, hey, can you teach me how to play the game? I'm new. It's pretty easy. So with that being said, guys, that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I would love to know your experiences if you're new to Siege, going into Siege. And I'll see you guys in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.